the Act One break. Your hero has accepted their call to adventure and is ready to embark on their journey. It's time to leave the ordinary world of Act One and enter the extraordinary world of Act Two. Today, we're talking about this extremely important beat. So crank up the montage music, cut to some aerial shots, and let's cross Joseph Campbell's first threshold into Act Two. Hi, I'm Jonathan Stokes, and this is Raising the Stakes, Essays About Story. Let's get into it. Music swells and James Bond flies to Shanghai. Music swells and Ethan Hunt flies to Vatican City. Music swells and Indiana Jones' airplane moves in a red line across the world map. Vladimir Prop calls this beat departure. Joseph Campbell calls this crossing the first threshold. Sid Field calls this the Act One break. It's about 25% of the way into your story, and it's when the hero embarks on their adventure. In movies, this transition will often be signaled with a music break that infuses some fresh energy and lets the audience take a breather before beginning Act Two. Movies about going to war will often have a nice big musical transition at the Act One break. You'll certainly see this in comedies when Reese Witherspoon drives over a bridge to a new city to start Act Two. Or Sandra Bullock. Or really anybody driving into Act Two. Lots of driving to new cities at Act One breaks. Act One breaks work especially well in fish out of water comedies when the protagonists enter their new worlds. Pixar can be particularly creative about the Act One threshold cross. Ideally, there will be a strong visual transition to separate the ordinary world of Act One from the upside down world of Act Two. The Millennium Falcon goes from land to space. In Joe vs. the Volcano, look at how the color palette shifts from Tom Hanks' ordinary world to his adventure. I like how JLo's world changes when she enters the mind of a serial killer at the Act 1 break of the cell. Some movies can make this transition into the magical world of Act 2 very stark, so the hero and the audience know they're not in Kansas anymore. Joseph Campbell tells us that in mythology, characters will often face a threshold guardian at this transition. The Guardian will want your protagonist to prove they are worthy, sometimes with a fight. All right. Crossing that border between Act 1 and Act 2 will often be tense. In myths, heroes must often face a test in order to prove they are ready to embark. A trial might be as simple as getting your VW to start in Little Miss Sunshine, showing the family beginning to work together. At the Act 1 break, Moana must prove her courage and seamanship by facing the waves. Harry Potter must begin to have confidence in his magical powers before he can board the Hogwarts Express to the magical upside-down world of Act Two. Stories that don't have a clear transition to Act Two tend to drag. Even a story in one location, like Ryan Reynolds in Buried, finds visual ways to signal the break into Act Two. So if your story has a momentum drop around the Act 1 break, find a way for your hero to face Threshold Guardians. You survived. Overcome tests. Move locations. And it never hurts to kick up the music. Mm -hmm.